Howdy, 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 and welcome back. This is Beef Lobart. All right. We were just kind of screwing around with some Cindy Studio stuff in the last video. I am actually going to open up another project here that I was kind of screwing around with. Mm. Don't have a clue what I was working on, but... Yeah, this one or another one. So, um, as many of you may or may not know, for the last month or so I have not done much of anything. And that's simply because I needed to back up, regroup, and get away for a little bit. Alright, so this was uh, part of the fireworks uh, asset pack. I did a video on this uh, a couple of days ago. It's a free asset pack. It was fireworks. Pretty. Well, I made my own map and I made my own variation and was screwing around with some of the stuff that they had in there. And to me, this was kind of bland. So I wanted to... Oh, that's nice. We'll take a cue from some of what they're doing here. And I like that multiple burst there. That was kind of cool. I wanted to create some variations on this while we're chatting. That was a double burst. And that one was utilizing a logo that was actually the UE4 logo that it um, burst into. And some of you may know that uh, Minecraft had fireworks. Well, let's go to, let's see, I think I'm just using the regular third person example. Yeah, okay. So if I hit play on this, I can hit V. I added sound to it. Multiple launchers. But it'd be nice to be able to trigger them instead of automatically doing an autoplay thing. Alright, so all I did was I placed in what, four of the fireworks launchers. If you look in there, and they've got shell and launcher. And the launcher itself is what actually launches them up into the air. Um, launch shell. Event begin play. What I've done is I have made those launchers automatically start um, but it'd be nice to have it to where you could actually trigger them yourself or have a timer wait and then make them work or what have you so if I were to look let's actually go to uh, let's see here we'll just go to a new map let's close this down for a moment and we'll do file New level, VR basic, and let's get rid of our ball. I mean, ball here, and then pyramid. So get rid of that extra junk. And you two, gotta go. And we want this guy. Let's make it twice as big. And let's put our player back in the corner. Make sure we go to our world settings, game mode override, third person game mode, and play. So now we can come in here and move around where I set up the V key to go to first person view so we can look around and everything is lovely. Okay, so if we take the fireworks launcher. 
itself. And we just drag it into the map and hit play and nothing happens. Because what it is, is it's set up to where you click on it and you go to the details panel. You can set up each of the fireworks launcher separately. Random angle, the max rotation, the speed, max life, that kind of stuff, the flare color, the shell tail color, sparkle multiplier, you shall smoke, burst properties, and you can you, you can change that. So you've got um, one, two, three. It's like more, but primarily three. Burst time, number of burst, but the key is auto launch. And right now, if I just set that to checked, and now if I hit play, there we go. Not bad. Oh, nice view. Hello. So, again, if we went back over here and... Wow, camera speed is moving awful damn fast for four. If we go back in here again, we can actually number of launches. If you only want to, get to do it one time, you can take away this negative one. Negative one means it will be infinite. It'll just keep launching until you leave the map. Seconds in between, you can add that or subtract that so you can make it slower or faster. Um, let's see here. That was the normal one. I'm going to go ahead and since this is set to auto, I will grab this and control C, control V, and now we have a copy of it. And let's actually edit on the copy. No, we just want one of them. And we'll change that to I wonder what that one does. Oh, I have a nice little variation where you get a secondary burst. So you get some variety. Add in another one. Change that one to like so. Again, hit play. One on the far right was a new one. Alright, so it burst in a circular pattern. So as you can see, I mean, just by playing around with the settings on here, we can change the, uh, the way that it actually looks. Secondary burst timer. Um, number of bursts. Let's try three. Screw it. It just adds a little bit more going on there. Of 
course, you can change the layout. I mean, you don't have to have them all bunched up together. You can also change the angle of which how they are laid out. We'll click on three, shove it all the way over here. Two, we'll kind of put it in the middle. Since they change angle anyway. Now, the, the sound file. Again, I showed how you could actually get this asset pack for free. The Epic Launcher, if you go to the Marketplace, go to free, permanently free collection. And as you scroll down, this is actually pretty cool right here too. Um, Mocap Atoms, here's some guns you can use for free. And scroll down and go to the second page. And right here, Fireworks Particle Effects. It is absolutely free, so you can get it, add it to your own pack, good to go. And there's so many different variations of what you can do with it. I've only scratched the surface on, on some of the stuff you can do with it. Uh, let's see here. Um... See which ones have I used here? I've got the standard fireworks burst palm shells within shells, burst a circle, and Chris. It's weird how they tend to try to migrate towards each other there. Looks like they're aiming towards each other. Oh, okay, I see what that one is. Uh, cross pattern. That would look a hell of a lot better if it was nighttime. Mr. Sun, you're in the wrong location for me. So let's look at Sky Sphere. Oh god, it's been so long since I've done this. Um, skylight. Movable. Yeah, you actually have to go into the um, you know, map settings and change it, but you can actually change where the sun location changes. And actually get the, the sun out of the sky and actually have a night sky. I've uh, done a video on it. Uh, It's been a while since I've done it, so don't remember how. But you need to go into the map settings. You select your skylight. Yeah, you can, but it doesn't work the same. Um, you change it to movable, change your skylight. Um, your directional light, the same thing. It's already set to movable. And if you aim it directly up, the weird effect that you end up getting is, um, so if you change your rotation to zero, zero, and zero, then rotate it 90 degrees up. What happens now, if you build your lighting, you end up changing the light direction um, 
to straight up and you start getting shadows in weird locations. Skylight and light. Sky sphere. Makes it a little bit better. And makes you use. Ooh, that's a lot of fireworks going on here. So let's actually go in here and two. Number of launches, seconds between. We're going to change that to three. Change that one to four. And screw it, we'll change this one to five. Just whatever, you know. Still a nice little thing. Um, would say that uh, for July 4th of this year, what I would like to do is come up with a... Um, a variation of what I've been doing in the background, which was a uh, kind of a social hangout, like a, a place for people to, to run around in a multiplayer environment, just screw around while there's a live stream going on, and for the 4th of July, have a fireworks layout. Spend some time, play around with this, um, this asset pack, come up with a bunch of different variations on the fireworks themselves uh, and have it triggerable based off of you know the host say okay now it's time for the fireworks hit a button uh, on a you know a console command or whatever and be able to trigger the fireworks show you see all of a sudden it's it's daytime then all of a sudden poofy becomes nighttime and we get that So that's what I'm planning on doing is, I know we got plenty of time, but I'm fat, slow, and lazy. So, slowly trying to get myself into it and working up, getting back on this project. So I took about a month off just to to get away from everything. It doesn't help that, you know, during that time, uh, The Division 2 came out. And that's what I've been doing quite a bit of. Only about 100 hours. You know, I haven't play, have not been playing every day. Um, the sound effects. Again, I covered that in the last video uh, that I did on these fireworks. And the fireworks launcher, I don't think I changed anything in here. It was the actual fireworks shell. I added a play sound at location, and I added that in between, or at the end, of the explode explode a burst charge and all I did was from here and from here for whether it was a shaped or standard I linked them both into place out at location there is no location whatsoever I want to, to do it zero 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 location um, and then I added in a random float in range on the volume multiplier and on the multi the pitch multiplier so there was some variation in how loud it is and you know the the burst was either sharper or lower tone or whatever you get the idea it changed the pitch up and down a little bit and the volume up and down a little bit and that's all I did was added that in there and did it with a sound instead of a um, there's no attenuation to it everybody hears it everybody sees it there's no need for camouflaging it in any way, shape, or form. But um, the sound itself is one that I just did a Google search for firework sounds, and I found one that kind of matched what I was looking for. It was just a pop and crackle, pop and crackle, and that's it. Um, I thought about grabbing one also for the sound of the rocket whenever they actually go up 
to hear the you know the whirring sound of it actually being launched and having that one set on the attenuation to where you can only hear if you're within a certain radius of that but if you've ever watched fireworks in real life you can hear that pop from a mile or two away So, see how you get that weird light coming from, I guess, you know, you could do other stuff too, but, yeah. Light. Change the lux on that. Um, yeah, there's other things you could do to, to screw around with lights. This is just a quick whatever, waiting for people to chit-chat and talk about stuff. But that's, that's all I did with the sound. I didn't change anything with it. And I said, the only other thing I'm going to do is add a sound of the rocket going up. And that will be on an attenuation. And the attenuation, I'll set it up probably smaller. It'll probably be a standard attenuation, which is, I think, 400 and 1200 or, or some kind of crap like that. In that way, whenever the fireworks are going up, you hear them, and, you know, only if you're close enough for the sound of the rocket going up. And that's it. Whenever it pops, it pops. And let's just do save all, and content. I don't have a folder for the maps yet. Um, content. New folder, maps. Then we can do save all. Test map. Go to the maps folder and save. And screw up, we'll just do a build. Alright, that or that. Um, yeah, I just started messing around with 422. I really haven't messed around much with uh, Niagara. Um, not Niagara. Uh, the ray tracing, which is part of the the new one where they were trying to make the um, rectangular light work better with ray tracing and so forth I just throw that in here just for shits and grins where you can see the light see the effect of the light there is no nothing there but you can actually come in here and put in a source texture and I don't know what will work on here just threw something on there but you can actually put like a, a light bulb or a light fixture or whatever in that But you can apply a texture to that. Um, I have seen a couple instances where this was set up to look like uh, fluorescent light tubes. And from that you could actually um, turn on ray tracing for it. I uh, don't remember. I'll have to look at the video again. And look at the particulars on it, but ray trace distance, ray tracing samples. They're saying that one is fine, but more than one can lead to problems for multiple bounces and stuff like that. But yeah, something for another video. The original project that I had set up for that was um, I still have. I haven't got rid of all my projects yet. Um, uh, the stream party, and essentially what stream party was is um, that's actually for a different engine. Was setting up the area for people to run around in. Let me take a look at one more thing really quickly, and then I'll, I'll actually close 422 and go back into 420. 
Uh, let's see. What the hell is I doing? Open project. Uh, don't save. Yeah, I was getting sweat rolling in my eyes earlier. Kind of hard to to work whenever you're you got sweat rolling into your eyes. Um, this was another asset pack that was free, and essentially it's um, well, what, exactly what you see here. These assets. Oil drums, pallets, containers, um, you know, the shelving units, that kind of stuff. Kind of cool. Um, going to world settings, third person game mode. Actually, walk around. And they do have collisions. Interesting, lovely. All right, so don't save, close. Pick a launch all. Um, yeah, it's stream party. I'll show a little bit of this. And anybody's got any questions or want to see anything or what have you, just let me know. Otherwise, we'll keep this for short too, because it, it's still a bit on the warm side and. Yeah. Need to start working on that other room. Um, I have no way of setting up the monitors in there yet. Um, my desk that I use is um, glass, glass top. I like it. I've been using it for. God, I've had this this table has outlasted or this desk has outlasted my my last marriage, so yeah I, I've been using this um the same desk for probably ten years or more Ugh, I can't even begin to to tell you how long I've had this one um, I don't want to lose it at the beach didn't use it at the other beach location. The first beach house. Sounds like I'm rich and shit, but I'm not, I promise. Um, I had a... The three-bedroom house out by the lake. It was nice. A little friggin' tropical storm came through and shit up everything. Ah, uh, yeah, I got so much going on with this right here. Maps. Test map? Oh, I don't know which one's which. Um, been a long since I got in here. Uh, th there's, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll just wait on it to compile shaders. Uh, essentially what this was is um, just the, the proof of concept for traveling throughout the um, the actual world itself. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? Okay. Alright, we'll go back and do it as a single Still back and forth on setting up to where the host is um, a different color from the, the point And yes, that's my fat ass shooting Uzi God, I love it. 
love that thing. Yes, I do. I love that thing. Um, chairs. You'll be able to sit down, socialize, hang out, walk up to a chair and press E. I'll get away from the machine guns here. Go to room one, which was a PvP room. You see you're red now because you're in PvP. And you'll be able to fight. Everybody can go into this particular combat arena and bash each other's brains out or whatever. And if you leave... Huh, there's a big old um, video monitor in this room that uh, you can actually see what's going on live in room one or the combat room. So if I went back to room one... There's cameras in here that you can't see that will show off what's going on. And if you leave the arena, as soon as you leave, you go out of combat mode and you go back to your normal skin again. Um, but you can see that's going on there. You can see the video display over there. Um, and another thing that I was working on was based off of your player status level. If you're admin or certain specific level, you can then go up to the loft and hang out here and party separate from everybody else and get your own teleport to go back and forth between it. And inside there would be a series of chairs and furniture and whatnot. This was just a quickly thrown together chair made out of some BSB geometries. Just quickly thrown together. But this way you can sit up here, watch what's going on physically right there. You've got a monitor there. Maybe put another monitor right there so we can look and see, put TVs up so you can see what's going on in the arena. Um, you can change your view, as you can see, going back and forth. Room 2 and Room 3 are just other rooms. And yeah, this was just a proof of concept room for testing out features of going between the rooms and multiplayer functionality and replication for sitting down in a chair and that kind of stuff. Everything seems to be working pretty well. So if we go back in here and do two players, new pie window, and we'll split it off here. You can see you got a health bar too. Uh, let's try to make sure that the uh, the video is also replicating correctly to show only on the owning client so if I'm over here and you hear but this other client doesn't hear it still got to get the color thing right on the the host that's what I was working on last so you can see the host or the server is on the left he sees everybody as being yellow and I only want the host to be yellow and the clients to be white and doesn't matter as soon as you go in here we'll put um, the server or the host will be on the left still so let's go to room one so you can see if you can see the guy on the screen yay it's real time the um, the monitor shows real time of what's going on in room one. So I could put those monitors anywhere I wanted to. So if there's anything, any action going on, you can see it live, what's going on. I may change it to where it's top-down camera or whatever, you know. And say, okay, done with this. I can run over here to room two. Yay. And let's take the server and go to room one well, it doesn't matter host and client they get to see what's going on I don't know if you guys can see the guy in in here where is the camera okay get a problem with my keyboard every so often and playing some games and doing some things um, think no problem there you 
Replication for the chair is working just fine. We're next 13 bucks. God, I love that. <laughs> All right, so that's that. But that's just something that I'm working on. Still got to work through a few more bugs. I don't know if you noticed that um, all my folders are different colors. All you got to do is right click and set color. You can set up existing colors or create new colors for each room or each folder. So, you know, it's a nice little feature where. Like, okay, I want blueprints. Blueprints are typically this color, or or this color, or this color, or whatever. You can set up blueprints folders to be blue. Um, uh, skeletal meshes and whatever. You can set up whatever color you want for whatever theme you want for each folder. That way, if you know you're looking for a blueprint, it's in, gadget, it's in, in that blue color. Skeletal meshes have that light blue color on them, so why not color your mesh folder that same color? Um, textures, same thing. Maps, kind of an orangish color, you can make that the same color. Um, whatever, you know. All right, y'all are being quiet, so I created a second video just because I had a bunch of people popped up in the last video, which I wanted to keep short, under 20 minutes and everybody was showing up and then now that i've got this little chit chat session nobody's chatting so all right well that's what i've been working on uh, slowly you guys got questions got requests make sure you put them in in my discord channel all right that's it for me i'll take a break and if you guys got any questions let me know i'll do another video later or i'll just go back to doing what i was doing I guess we'll see you around.